Hello friends. Today we will discuss about GST, goods and services tax. But before that, we need to know what is the tax. Tax is the money which is paid to the government. It is imposed on your income, business profit, cost of goods and services, and the transactions, so that the government can use this money in public interest and to pay off the national debts. There are actually two type of taxes. One is direct tax, and other is indirect. The direct tax is whose liability cannot be shifted to someone else, like corporate tax, income tax, wealth tax, etc. But indirect tax is the tax whose liability can be shifted to someone else. It is central excise tax, sales tax, services tax, etc. Here, the point of interest is indirect taxes, because GST will replace all indirect taxes, which includes excise duty, service tax, additional duty of custom, VAT, sales tax, central sales tax, entertainment tax, luxury tax, etc. So the question is, how GST is different from the current taxation system in India? I'll explain this with a simple example. Consider a simplified tax rate of 10% at each level. There are generally four levels: manufacturer, distributor, wholesaler, and retailer. Manufacturer buys raw material, let's say of rupees 50, and manufactures the product, which adds 50 rupees value to it. So the product becomes of 100 rupees. And for selling this product, he needs to pay 10% tax, which is 10 rupees. So the cost of product for distributor is 110 rupees. The distributor add value of rupees 20, which is nothing but his profit. So the price will become 130. Distributor also sells it by adding 10% tax of rupees 13. So the product is of 143 rupees now. Wholesaler follows the same pattern, and the price will become. 143 plus 20, that is 163, and 10% tax, which is of rupees 16.3, and sells it for 179.3 rupees to the retailer. Then the retailer adds 20 rupees profit, and the price will become 199.3. The consumer buys this product from retailer. By paying 10% tax on 199.3, that is 19.93 rupees, so the final consumer price is 219.23. This is how the current taxation system works in India. Now we will take the same example in GST system. Raw material of 50 rupees and the manufacturing value of rupees 50 make the product of 100 rupees. But this time, the manufacturer has to pay taxes on the value added by him, which is rupees fifty. So he pays ten percent of fifty, which is five, as tax from his profit. But the selling price will not increase, and the cost of product for distributor is hundred rupees only. Then the distributor adds twenty rupees profit. And the product becomes of hundred plus twenty, which is one twenty rupees. He pays the tax of rupees two on his profit of twenty rupees. The wholesaler buys the product for one twenty rupees and follow the same pattern, adding twenty rupees his profit, and price will become one forty, and pays the tax of rupees two on his profit of twenty rupees. Retailer buys the product for one forty rupees. Add profit of twenty rupees, pays the taxes of two rupees on his profit of twenty rupees, and raises the final consumer price to one sixty rupees. So, if the prices are compared, the product is fifty nine point two three rupees cheaper in GST system than the current system. Let's take GST in details. GST is a combination of CGST. And SGST or IGST. CGST is Central GST, which is paid to the central government, 
SGST is the state GST which is paid to the state government and IGST is the integral GST which comes in the situation when goods and services moves interstate. For example, product A is manufactured in Madhya Pradesh and sold in Uttar Pradesh. So IGST is distributed between both the states. In this case, SGST will not be collected. We will also have five categories in GST in India. 0% category which will apply on food grains and etc. 5% category which will apply mostly and widely used items. 12 and 18% category which will apply in the items are, which are normally used. 28% category which will apply on luxurious items. After applying GST, the cost of items will increase or decrease. So here are the some items whose cost will increase. Packaged food, jewelry, ready-made garments, mobile services, credit card services, etc. And there are some items whose cost will decrease after applying GST. Home, restaurant, AC, washing machine, microwave oven, small cars and less taxes on industries. There are some items which are exempted from the GST. Alcohol for human consumption, petroleum product like crude, petrol, high speed diesel, natural gases and aviation turbine fuel. There are some taxes also which are exempted. Stamp duty, property tax, toll tax, electricity duty etc. Thank you for watching this video. Please share and like.